In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. We do so in the context of our memory of martial law's declaration in 1972. And so, my dear friends, let us ask the intercession of Matthew the Apostle for the grace of conversion for ourselves and for our people. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Glory. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, 
as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us open our hearts and our minds to this proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Only two short verses in our gospel reading today describe the call of Matthew, but they have inspired many artworks throughout history, perhaps the most famous being that of Caravaggio. In his painting, Caravaggio gives us a close-up of Matthew then called Levi, seated at the table to collect taxes and surrounded by others in a dark room. His face is turned toward the door and his eyes are looking at the light coming from the direction of Jesus, who is almost unseen. It is a tender scene, almost intimate, as if only he and Jesus were present. Such a personal encounter, however, takes place within a wider context. It is framed by the tension between darkness and light. Matthew, as we know, was a tax collector for the Roman colonizers of Israel and its people. And this explains why the Gospels often call him the tax collector, 
even after he became a disciple. As such, he made sure to charge the largest, largest amount from the people since his pay depended on commissions. What then does all this mean for us? Who, like Matthew, carry the name of Jesus? We must first acknowledge that we are living in a time in darkness. During the period of martial law, as well as today, many of our people suffer from poverty and injustice, together with disrespect for their lives and dignity. There have been and are collectors in many offices like Matthew who funnel the people's hard-earned but still insufficient money into drawers for themselves and their foreign partners. Into this situation of twilight comes the light and the call of Jesus. Shall we like Matthew, rise up from our desks, wherever they may be, and follow Jesus? Or will be, like the Pharisees, who consider themselves pure and clean? These questions are asked of all of us during this pandemic of blurred visions, deaf ears, and fingers quick to send fake news. My dear friends, like Matthew the tax collector, we are caught by the light of Jesus. We may be uncertain, even afraid of where that may lead. But he shows us the way towards the dignity we share with one another. Shall we then, sinners that we are, like Matthew, stand up and be counted, manindigan, by following him in word and action? If we fail to do so, we cannot truly celebrate his feast today. My dear friends, let us now offer our prayers. Jesus called and chose a tax collector, Matthew, to be an apostle. May we have the courage to follow Jesus and leave behind whatever hinders us from being his faithful follower. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May the leaders and ministers of the church trust in the Lord's mercy in their challenging and delicate task of guiding the flock of God. May they be a sign of the primacy of mercy in their pastoral ministry, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Like the tax collector Matthew, may sinners turn their gaze on Jesus and accept his call to work in the promotion of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. May we turn to the gospel according to St. Matthew to know Christ as the great teacher of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May we become a church that welcomes sinners and outsiders and shows them merciful and compassionate love we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters come before a merciful Father rather than an exacting judge, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, especially Thelma Makasiar, Epi Maglakas, Edna Tan, Annika Lukusic, Sarah Catherine Heronimo, Kyra San Juan, Ray Alvarez, Emma Manyalak, Sarah Catherine Heronimo, 
Jessica Tugade, con Rigo Santos, and Lincoln Flores, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the healing of Ovi and Marilyn Espiritu, Mary Tan, Rosaro and Felisa Pineda, Pat Ang, and Tess Veloso, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Prudential Maligalig, Manuel Samson, Maria Cristina Martins, Delia Casino, Benamin Francisco, Delphine Yumol, Pura Torrio Ramos, Angelina P. Bonza, Noli Acero, Angelina Matutina, Gregorio Gratuto, Fe Olin, and Reynaldo Ruben, we pray. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For the special intentions of Rio Carla Pineda, Rad and Miriam Ocampo, Lisa Halandoni, Gabby, Ethel, Erich Evangelista, Hannah Gonzalez, and Susie Lou, Lisi, and Cecil, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father, having had mercy on Matthew, Jesus, your son, chose him to be an apostle. May we experience you as God who proceeds to guide us and who wants to meet us first. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifice and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all those whose lives bring hope to our world. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Matthew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, gathered around the table of life that Jesus has called us to share, let us call on God in the words that he taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to us now, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on our weaknesses, but on the faith of your church and the holy desires that you put in our hearts. Graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the love and the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with you. your spirit. Dear friends, let us now offer each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold Jesus, the light of the world. Happy are we who are invited to share in his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Body and blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray, grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, 
but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our loving God bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, our Eucharist has been offered. Let us go forth in peace and in service. Thanks be to God. Sumaya, buong bayan, sosabay sigaw 